You start tonight with the damage, though, in Clarksville, where buildings have been ripped to shreds. All eyes tonight on one massive building downtown on the brink of collapse. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel is there live. Her crews have been on the scene for seven hours now, and they're just waiting for the structure to give way. Yeah, Brian and Marley, you can see some of the crew on their shift right now still behind me here. Now, the building itself, it was built in the 1890s. It's been a part of Clarksville for well over a century now. Many people who came by the scene today talked about the history in that building. It just up until two weeks ago actually housed the library and also on the first floor was a renovation project that was taking place to become a new restaurant set to open up in just one month. And I spoke to the uh, to the renters who were renovating that area who are dealing with their own devastation tonight. What was your first thought when you saw it? I want to throw up. <laughs> I really literally want to throw up. Plans for a red tomato restaurant inside the historic Nash Opera House building in Clarksville are on hold for Jeanette Rash. She and her boyfriend have poured everything into renovations. We've just been working real hard to um, get everything set up and ready. We we're planning on opening in about 30 days. And we've put a lot of our time and effort, hearts and souls into getting it ready. The restaurant was slated to open on the bottom floor of the building. What's left of the brick second floor proved to be no match for turbulent winds. The roof of the building snapped off and thrown onto Main Street. Clarksville Fire Chief says cleanup will take days. Don't come through Clarksville tonight or any day the next few days because they're going to have to tear this whole building down. The more than a century old building will become a demolition site, but it should have become a small business for Clarksville. We left here at 10 o'clock last night with being very proud and happy of where we were with it. So it's really disappointing. Now, again, crews are staying all night. The main area that they're still focusing on, excuse me, is that second floor. There's actually a uh, uh, flashlight on it right now. They're concerned that because of the high winds all day today, that part portion of the building could still give way. That is why they're staying here all night. And the cleanup crew will be here at 8 tomorrow morning to start knocking down what is left of this historic building. Reporting live in Clarksville, Lindsay McComel, 24 Hour News 8.